What is our shadow self and why is it important to learn to embrace it? As human beings we are all completely unique in our personalities and characteristics and because we are made of flesh and blood there are parts of our nature that are naturally flawed because we are not supposed to be perfect. This side of ourself is known as the shadow self and this is often the part of us that we might either be completely conscious of or unconscious of but either way we are not always comfortable accepting. However, a big part of becoming more conscious is having the maturity and insight to accept every part of you and this of course includes the parts that we would rather keep hidden as we are not always comfortable acknowledging that they are there. It may be that you have a problem with anger or jealousy which both stem from fear and insecurity and yet negative emotions are equally as important as positive because although they may cause you to dislike an aspect of yourself there is still a reason that you experience them which needs to be explored so you can learn to understand yourself better and why you react and behave the way you do because there's always an underlying issue for doing so. Feeling these emotions may make you hate yourself or feel sadness or embarrassed by them but try to look a little deeper as to what the triggers are that make you feel this way. Perhaps in a previous relationship you have suffered infidelity and because of the pain you suffered as a result may mean that you start to develop jealousy in a new relationship for no obvious reason if you feel you are not in control when it was never present before. It is simply an indication of unresolved pain and heartbreak from the past and indicates that it may be necessary for you to undertake some inner healing work although of course to the new partner it may come across as control and unstable behaviour unless you are able to be completely open with one another to avoid any misunderstandings. For this reason self-development work which is ongoing can be so beneficial to help us understand ourselves better. All too often society can dictate that we should behave a certain way because that is what is expected of us and we may feel resistant to conforming and as a result feel anger instead of acceptance which can stem from previous issues of feeling controlled. Perhaps as a child or by a former employer when we felt powerless to have our voice heard. If we are not naturally empathic to understanding others, it can be easy to judge behaviour by our own standards without really taking the time to consider why that person is choosing to act this way. It is also possible that we may at times meet another person that we just do not bond with and cannot understand the reasons why. This is because that person is mirroring something back to us that we do not like within ourselves, even though there may be nothing wrong with them in themselves. This can be a huge learning curve in looking at the bigger picture and seeing what this can teach us and how it can help us grow, instead of what is immediately obvious, so we can learn to then not only unconditionally love and accept everything about ourselves, but others also.